Howdy folks, Moose here. Want to talk about, well, some gear, some really cool gear, some gear that is making my life easier, make your life a whole lot simpler as well. That's the wireless flash system that's now available with the D5 and D500. The components are the SB5000 flash, of course the camera body, and this great little gizmo here, the WRR10. Now, it's not a name that rolls off the tongue, but this is a great little accessory. Make sure you have 3.0 or higher on the firmware for this guy to make it work. So what's happening? Well, I am shooting and firing this camera TTL through the lens metering, okay, wirelessly. So the camera and the flash are talking without any cables. This is really cool stuff. Now, why do I like it? Well, as a wildlife photographer, that cable, if it's bouncing around, which it does, Okay, can cause a shot that's shy to not want to deal, be around it's, its vertical movement. It makes them shy. But that's just one consideration. What else can you do? Well, you can actually have this flash up to, as they say in the book, 98 feet away from the camera and still get the signal and do TTL. Well, what's better? Well, we have down here, we come down here and I have to look. You hit this info button twice and see that right there? What it's allowing you to do is to control that flash wirelessly. Now, in the old days, you'd have to bring your hand up here to make things happen, okay? Now you don't. You come up here, hit the button twice, the info button, boink, boink. Now I can set exposure compensation, all sorts of great stuff right here from the camera. Now, yes, that's convenient, but for the wildlife photographer, it means, again, that your hand does not have to come up to your flash to make things happen. This thing here, this bright thing, which I've talked about many times, it gets anything dark, okay, like a black flash, black lens, a black body, that could cause a shy subject not to come close, okay? So now you have total wireless connection for settings and operation. That is just amazingly cool. Now, it still works with the SD9. It would plug in here. I don't have it here right now because it just looks on the video like another wire. And normally this would be, have to be snaked around to come up in here. But you can use the external SD9 battery pack with this flash, okay? Now, one thing you're gonna probably say is, how are you connecting this to the flash arm? Well, this is the Nikon AS10. It's, a, which you, it's an old, uh, it's been around forever. I mean, really a long time. Uh, this is one of the original ones I got back in the 80s. And it is, nowadays we call it a cold hot shoe, okay? Because there's, there's nothing here, it's just a place to hold it. And it has a core 20 thread that allows you to go into the bracket. Now, personally, uh, as I go through, I'm going to walk through a forest and I'm going to put this over my shoulder, I take duct tape, gaffer's tape, and I actually put a little bit around here. It just secures that on there so it won't come off. Um, it's just a really simple uh, thing because it is an older AS10. It's just not as, as tight as a brand new one. Now, is there a weak link to this thing? In my opinion, knowing myself, it's the WR10 and by losing it, uh, it's physically really small right? It goes in a little bag, and I can see myself putting it into a, a camera bag that's all black and losing it in there and not finding it. So for that reason, okay, I do carry the SC27 just in case. I personally lose that in my bag or my luggage or something, and I can't find it fast enough. Now, you might be wondering how they're talking to each other. It's very simple. You um, put this, turn this on, plug this in, hit the button here, go in the menu, hit pairing, Boom, it is done that quick and simple. Now, if you use this flash wirelessly the whole time, it will stay paired all the time. Even if you turn the flash and the camera off. So I'm gonna turn the flash to off mode, turn the camera to off mode, okay? I'm gonna turn this back to remote mode, okay? So the flash is on remote. And you watch that little green that light right there. I'm gonna turn this on in a second, it'll turn green. I see it green. So now they're talking to each other. That's simple. Now, if you take the flash off, and put it into the hot shoe, you'll have to sit there and repair it next time you do wireless. And if you want that instant wireless connection, you have to go into the menus. Give me a second, I put this in my menus. You're gonna go into the flash control, okay? And you're gonna make sure that you set it to the AB. The AB there is gonna let you instantly connect the wireless as soon as you turn the, the two units on and off. But like I said, if you put this in the hot shoe and goes here, it'll go back to a regular flash and you'll have to actually turn that back to the radio AWL to make it all work. Now, I, the most important thing about this whole system, at least to me, is the fact that one, we have 
custom setting E3 in here, which allows me to disconnect the exposure compensation of the ambient light from the flash. That's huge. Okay, two, this is a physically smaller unit, has a little bit more power light, and they've done something, you know, that magic little guy's over there in the engineering, and the light coming here, I think, is a little bit sweeter than the 910. Now, what you see is I have it set to 200 millimeters on zoom, I'm using the 800 millimeter, and with that, I'm easily photographing birds with nothing like a better beamer, anything else, getting really beautiful melded light. As you can see in the blog post, it's clean, it's really simple, and I like that, the fact that it's clean and simple, okay? So, SB5000, WRR10, wireless remote, okay? D5, D500, you have wireless flash now, allowing you to do so much more, so much easier, so much faster. That means what? Photography be fun, and that's what it's all about.